I felt that if I wanted to change the things that I didn't like about the places that I worked, I had to start my own place. The design and conception of the salon itself was uh, an idea of mine, a concept of mine. I wanted to feel at home. I, I mean, I'm very passionate about my work and my craft and I spend a lot of time doing it. And so I wanted to make sure I felt really comfortable in the environment that I was in. I take a lot of pride in the way that the salon looks. The salon's definitely built for speed. However, it does give a very warm and inviting feel. The leather and the toolboxes, things like that, I always felt that I was spending a lot of time in my garage um, working on my bikes and it was really easy for me to reach into a toolbox to grab a wrench. I thought, you know, if I was in the salon, it'd make it a lot more functional if I knew exactly where my comb was going to be or where a pair of scissors were going to be. And I kind of carried that over. My garage became my salon. People often find that it's it's ironic or, or funny or hard to believe that someone like myself as a hairdresser generally because of the way I look or because of some of my hobbies and my interests. I build motorcycles, you know, in my spare time for fun. I went away to college to, to play hockey and I studied to become an engineer. I was employed uh, as a, you know, a plastics engineer for five years in the automotive industry. I didn't feel at home, I didn't feel at ease. Uh, Financially, things were great, but I, I was lacking something in my life. And, you know, becoming a hairdresser wasn't exactly my calling or it wasn't what uh, I had always wanted to do. It kind of fell into my hands, but I realized very quickly that um, with the mechanical and uh, design, you know, education and background and creativity that I had that I thought was actually great attributes to become a hairdresser. The staff here at the salon have been hand-selected, mostly my closest friends. Um, each and every individual here I have a very close relationship with and I have for, for some time. You know, several platform artists and educators from multiple different organizations or, or product companies. Staff here at the salon have been involved heavily in a lot of different type of editorial um, situations, whether it be magazine, photo shoots, you know, fashion shows, hair shows, things like that. I was the North American Creative Director for a company from Italy. It's very important to keep our staff inspired and these are how we do these sort of things is by getting them involved. We make ourselves stronger as well as the industry stronger by continually pushing the envelope and providing new innovative looks. We have an obligation at the salon to provide the greatest possible service. The most up-to-date styles, the most precision techniques, as well as the latest and greatest products on the market. What makes Black different is that we really take pride in providing quality service with you know, true care and character and heart. And I feel like uh, a lot of salons don't often provide that. The idea behind Black is we are real people here for real people. When you come to Black, you feel at home. Always check our website, we'll, we'll feature monthly specials. You can, we actually have an icon on the website where you can actually you can take a look and see what we're running on specials for the month. We have a Twitter page and we have Facebook and, and these sort of you know, avenues that you can find us. You can read up and follow up and, and learn about current events from the salon. We are real, um, re very cost conscious and, and we understand uh, that people are, are shoppers and they're interested in, in looking for a deal. Um, one thing that we don't believe in is compromising our service as a deal, but we definitely believe in taking care of loyal clients.
The future for Black the Salon ultimately is, is right here. You know, we will develop as, as needed. With the experiences that I have as well as my staff, we will develop um, a younger group of people and individuals to reap the benefits of, of making people feel good and ultimately being successful here. I'm very passionate about making people feel good about themselves. When I spin somebody around in the chair and they look in the mirror and they say, oh my God, I, I feel beautiful. I feel good when I make you feel good. Everyone that, that works here for me or works with me, works next to me, they truly believe in giving back the gift of beauty. There's always somebody here at Black for you.